Obtain a random rare card. Choose a rare card. Well, choosing a rare card might be pretty good, right? Because I can imagine rare cards are pretty broken. Is that rare card enough to beat Elite? Let's find out. Deal 40 damage to all enemies. Strength affects this card three times. Skip your next turn. Okay, the only problem is it costs four. Place this card into stasis. Every time it's for every turn it's in stasis, it does 10 damage to a random enemy. Deal 30 damage. Place this card into stasis. Increase this damage. Okay, that's a good card. Fear Smash is great. It's a little expensive to begin with. Is that enough to kill an elite? I would say yes. I would say yes. It's pretty cool that everybody loves Taylor Spire and the mod community all comes together. I think it's cool. Alright, I've seen drop your splash and it's game over. Boom. Deal 8 damage, increase the damage up by all beam cards, right? So, what beam cards do I have? This is not a beam card, so I don't want it. Gain four block at the end of each turn while in defensive mode. Enter defensive mode. That's great. Love it. All right, guys. We're going to do one elite after this. Okay, I want to first bash, but I also don't want it to damage. Dilemma. Exactly. So, I remember he made some of these individual mods, like the Sneko and stuff like that, and then he brought it together with the work of a lot of other people. Wait, Fear Splash is in stasis for so long. I need things that can accelerate, right? If you're in defensive mode, this does all enemies. So if you're in defensive mode, this does 14 AoE. I think that might be worth. Alright, first and foremost though, we want to take Fear Splash immediately because you want it to start scaling. Fortunately, I'm going to wake her up for doing that. But, the damage is going up as we speak, which is perfect. All right, we're going to enter defense one, and we're going to get through dexterity. It's perfect. Also, revenge protocol is not bad either. But I like the dexterity a little bit more. And again, all I got to do is just block. So enter defensive mode. All I got to do is just block because this thing's going to kill the thing for me pretty much. Next turn, let's do some big damage. Beautiful. And we enter defensive mode while we're at it. Boom. Boom. Alright. Um, perfect elite fight. Quite literally. Alright, so... This is zero, zero attack that does 5 damage, like a little FTO, for instance. But the caveat is that it gives a sentry wave into stasis. Whoa, careful buddy, one second. My dog had barfed, and I had to pick it up. Velius Gray has gifted. Whoa! Am I reading that right, Velius? 12 months of tier one, thank you so much. Wait, is that a thing? Is that a thing you can do, or have you done it consistently? Am I reading this correctly? Insane. Thank you so much. Holy crap. I didn't know it was a thing you could do. Race cam, you're, you're stuck with us for a year. I don't know what you can do after the year, but you're, you're here for a year. You're stuck. Thank you. All right. Get a random attack and get strength. That's not bad, right? These are both kind of nice. Let's go for the strength. It's a little Vajra and a card. That's pretty good. Vajra and a card. When you put it that way, that sounds really good, right? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Uh, it's a, it's, it's the warp tongs, isn't it? It's warp tongs. Let's remove it somehow. This is how we remove it. Perfect. Boom. Could you have done both? Wait, was I able to do both? Huh. 
Could I have done the Tinker and also get the Warp Tongues? I hope not. I didn't do that much damage here. Around 20 ish people? That's insane. That's insane. You can tell. It's a labor of love. Uh, let's remove this pain. You guys want discovery? I can't even afford it. Okay, this is a good card because we're going to be getting gems. Trust me, we're going to be getting gems. And then what I want to do is have a card that I can put gems into. The only problem is... I don't think I can do the sparkle right now, can I? I mean, can we? So what, what, it's going to be triple century or it's going to be the gremlin nub. How do we beat gremlin nub? Yeah, that was super generous. Super insane. All right, guys, let's sit down, let's focus, and let's knock this out. Gremlin Nob. Vamos. All right, it's not even Gremlin. It goes without saying we have to use Fierce Bash, right? Get the scaling going. Enter defensive mode next turn. If I lose one more life. Or proc it liberally, which I would rather do because I have roll attack. And boom. Can I kill these guys? Because if I do roll attack, plus I have ancient uh, attack. There's a world where I actually kill the guy in the front, if I'm lucky, right? Let's see. All right, if we're lucky, let's see. Not bad at all. Thank you so much for the gift of sub, uh, Rayskin. Appreciate it so much. Trout Hark, welcome, buddy. Lots of love today, guys. Lots of gifting the subs. I don't know what I did to deserve it. But I appreciate it. I forgot to mention that if you have nothing in that card, it does no damage. But that's fine. We got the spark out of the way. Nice and easy. Gain 10 block and enter defensive mode. Fantastic potion. I love it. Or to be fair, I should probably be doing this in Ascension 20, guys. I should probably be doing this in Ascension 20. I love Accelerate because what that means is that Fierce Bash, I get to play more often. Now, I don't know if this is something I should play around, but I think with Fierce Bash being one of my best cards, let's... Let's, uh, you know, entertain the idea. Alright, we need sustain though, because we're taking lots of damage. I did not promise a boob job. Nope. I love armor tincture. Not bad. Great. Defensive stuff. Applies vulnerable, which is fantastic. Ooh. Amethyst is a gem and a gem and a half. Love it, love it, love it. I think I could do another elite, guys. But it's worth it to go to here to gem my my cards. But I could do another elite. What's what's more important? Getting elite, getting a relic, higher chance of rare, and getting more substantial gold or souls. Or or gemming my cards. Okay, amethyst makes more sense with roll attack. Right? Because you probably want to play this in defensive mode. Uh, where do Amethyst want to be? Okay, Amethyst wants to be in Curl Up, but Curl Up has to be upgraded. Did I promise a boob job? Okay, if I promise a boob job, then... But who am I promising it to? I'm confused. Break. Okay, let's go gem. Prismatic beam, so it doesn't do zero damage, right? This persists for one turn, that's fantastic. The fact that it persists for one turn is fantastic. Alright, roll attack here, roll attack. Not bad, not bad at all. Great. 
great bit of defense we got going on here. This is fantastic. Easy peasy, baby. Add a crystal ward, so more defensive options, or add a crystal shiv, more def offensive. I want more defensive options, I think. Although, to be fair, I feel like our defense is decent. I think, I think going for defense more often than not is the uh, the way to go in these card games. Because offense can come out of nowhere. You can find offense from from the most unlikely of places. But the defense has got to be strong. Harden is a fantastic card, by the way. Is it just me or is Harden absolutely nuts when you get it out of uh, Ancient Attack? One mana for 11-11. Say no more. Gain one dexterity, add a random power card to your hand. So this is really good. This is giving you dexterity, which is a smooth stone, and a random power. I mean, this is fantastic. And then it gets out of your deck. This is game block, but places into stasis. So you can keep... Oh my! What a card! What a card! Okay, this is interesting though. So, this is saying it's a block card you can keep playing every other turn. Why do I find this a little bit strange? Okay, the fact that it has a socket basically means every other turn you can play a socketed effect. I think this is stronger, Ancient Power. Maybe I'm wrong. I want to enter defensive mode, but I can't. So, Prismatic Beam is very strong here. Oof, look at that. I guess I could have done Polishing Oil and killed them all. Technically. I'll save my potions though, why not? Okay. At the end of your turn, if you have them, okay. Uh, take some damage, or just... I don't need to take damage, that's the thing. She's is she retreating herself? That's what she's doing? I guess Elle's retreating herself through my account. I told her to stop. Is it still happening? Is that still happening? I don't use Twitter. Um, which I should start using Twitter more often, to be honest. It's very important for social media. Like people who are like brand deals and stuff like that, they care about Twitter and impressions and stuff like that. I mean, it makes sense, right? It looks like me. <laughs> okay, we have Walker Claw. What is this? So, in this mode, you have to break the keys. And um, in order to get the, the act four. So, I broke the green key and now I have dexterity. And this also gives me a special card for the late boss. You'll see. Strength effects is two times. We do get some strength, right? We have ancient attack, which gives us strength. But uh, it's kind of expensive. Polybeam is interesting. This is, I think Polybeam is better for the strength that we have. Lose my strawberry and gain three potions. Lose my happy flower and gain 150 souls. Lose centennial puzzle, get a rare card. Wait, these, I, wait, but with strawberry, do I, do I keep the max HP? I'm curious. Well, I don't want to lose happy flower. I love the happy flower. Centennial puzzle is quite good. I guess the question is, do we keep the max HP? We do. I want to say no more. It's gonna look like I have no let one last relic. I'm gonna look like a worse player. Like, man, this guy only has four relics. Little did I know. I was once a five relic McGee.
Okay, deal 10 damage and then place her to the stasis. When it's in stasis, you draw cards. I don't hate it. I like piercing hide, but okay. I, I wanted to have really good defense and then fierce bash to my offense. Eh, maybe it's a pipe dream, maybe it's not even strong, but let's see. Artifact and strength, absolutely. Whoa, bottle beam is nuts. Okay, make a loose string, which is fantastic, because it's multi-attacking. Yeah, Bobble Beam is... gets crazy. Okay, we have to play Fierce Bash. This is important. That's that's our whole deck. I'll keep that in a deck. That's a little bit of a... Uh, a mini deflect. Ancient Power. Okay, we get Dexterity. Game through Drunge while on defensive mode. Say no more. So, the thorns count as like an artifact thing, right? So I can artifact that, technically. Accelerate. Yes, sir. She is scaling. At the moment. But so am I. Whoa! Okay, I'm not scaling like that, though. Okay, I'm not in defensive mode at the moment. Let's do that. Alrighty. Let's do damage. How much are we looking at here? Looking at, uh... 47? 37. Alright, we're good. Wasn't too bad. Hope I do more downfall runs? Yeah, sure, we, we might. She said, I'm not done yet, sir. Oh, well, well, well. I believe we have GG here. Guarantee lethal next turn. But also, the thorns kill her. Oh, this kills. <clears throat> so stasis strike and stasis field. Okay, I guess the, the importance of these cards is that they're supposed to be um, socket providers. That sounds a little bit weird, but maybe that was the best way to describe it. This is like a Sneko White turn. Sneko White card, rather. I'm going to try the stasis field. Begin each combat in defensive mode, which persists... Am I reading this correctly? Five turns? Whoa. But when it switches mode shifter, do I lose the ability to enter defensive mode when I lose 10 HP? Does that go away? It does. So I don't get the whole effect of 10 HP, 10 block. But I have five persisted de uh, defensive mode, which is actually quite good. All right, so we want to enhance, place this into that. Beautiful. But I'm I'm gonna stay in defensive mode, which is. Oh wait, no, because there's powers that can put me into defensive mode. You know what I mean? So there's still ways to enter defensive mode. It's not it's not the perfect solution, but um, still a way. Let's go ahead and get the key and break it. We we did want energy. Damage increase for each and all your cards. Whoa! Interesting card. I need to play fierce bash. I need some energy. It doesn't switch. I mean, so if what I'm saying is, so for instance, does this increase the timer? It does. So now I'm defense mode for an extra turn because of that power. And I, I would, I would assume that like that also helps the um, when I'm no longer in defensive mode. 
That power could probably activate it. We'll find out though. We'll find out. Gain two strength, and then um, as this ticks, you gain one strength. So if you put this in stasis, I remember. I remember this. There was a card that you dig through your, you dig through your um, your deck. You put this into stasis, and you're getting like a demon form. Ish. No, you get you get it in flame. You get it in flame. I remember now. Yeah, taking damage doesn't cause it anymore, exactly, but it persists for a long time, so like, look how much benefit I'm getting. I'm getting an after image times two. I have two after images played for free. It's pretty fantastic when you put it that way. Two free after images. That's fantastic. Another dexterity and another random power, but Harden is very good. It's damage and it's block. In one. I like ancient power. I think it's too good. Just get dexterity. Let's go ahead and get this key. Let's go kill this elite. Nice and easy. Ooh, hello. Also thorns, exactly. So I'm also getting bronze skills. Two after images and bronze skills. That's fantastic. Wait, double accelerate? Wow. Look at Fierce Bash go. Whoa, we have acceleration. Okay, we need time shifter in our deck. I didn't know that was I didn't know that was a card. We need that in our deck. It accelerates every turn. That's perfect for Fierce Basher. To be honest. That's all this deck needs is like way to make Fierce Basher pop off. That's like my perfect scaling. Because my deck is very defensive as it is. Not to mention, wait, this can put me into defensive mode, right? So when I'm no longer have the mode shift, this still provides. So this is going to be a very important card for me to enter defensive mode after the five turns. Upon pick up who's a card, start each combat with this card in stasis. Is that good for Fierce Bash? Because it's going to take, what, three turns for me to be able to play it? But by the time I can play it, it it's hitting kind of hard. That might be interesting. Another gem. Yes, that's true. I can do a gem and Fierce Bash. Art of War seems very good because we need energy and there's times we don't play a lot of attacks. So Art of War does help our energy problem. We do have Happy Flower and Art of War. That's helping us out. But I think this, I, I think this is going to be cute. Let's try this. Now we need to get more gold so we can remove some of these strikes and stuff like that. Ancient Power. I'm willing to try this. Uh, let's do Orb Walk then. Alright, so this is scaling for us, which is fantastic. Alright, we are in defensive mode, so this applies. Status Strike is not... Status Strike is not bad. Not a bad turn. That would have been a very good turn for Armor Stinkshiver, though. A very good turn for Armor Stinkshiver. Wow, we have acce Accelerate. This is fantastic. Okay. Wait, Stasis Strike is actually quite good. I just, I kind of understand the, the, the power of this now. Wait. I, I can see the power in this now. Wait. <laughs> Wait a minute. I see it. I see the power. I see the power in the valley. Look at this. Does this increase the ticks of it? I don't know if it does. I don't think it does. Wow, this deck is fantastic. Another stasis field? I mean, it's not bad, but I don't think we have enough spaces for all this stasis. That's the problem. This is draw two if you have card assist, which I do often. Wait, amethyst in the stasis field? Oh my! Wait, this is actually kind of this is a little bit nutty. What do I do with these artifacts at the moment? Nothing, right? 
This is going to be a very important card later on because I'm going to need that to enter defensive mode later on. And two sockets, not bad. Incinerate's going to be an important card for me. Pendip's nice. Oh, we have Wing Boots, so we can go fight tons of elites. Let's do it. I like this elite for us. Let's go pop this. Oh my god, Stasis Field is insane. And this fight. Wait, this this is a... I'm getting giddy. Whoa, minus two strength yet again. This is a very powerful run. Very good block. We have Pendim now with Fierce Bash. So this goes very well for our, de our offense. Our offense wants to be Fierce Bash, right? So we have to play around Pendim with that. Let's see if we can do that. Well, first and foremost, let's play this. Hmm, I'm not going to be able to play that again anytime soon. I'm not going to need to play it again anytime soon, though. Beautiful. Draw card. Absolutely. So we want to socket that, right? Let's break the ruby. we got to stay ahead of the curve here. Let's go ahead and draw a card on... Incinerate. I like it. Let's get some more sockets. So we're going to need a socket from this. Socket from that. Um, I suppose this is going to want a socket. It's a very good card for us. And I want to take the next best path. Where I can just do more elites. What if I just don't waste my wing boot here? Just save it. Random power. Beautiful. Six thorns. Gotta love it. I'd rather do the damage here. We're taking... A small amount of damage. Let's, let's not... And construction form was not what I was looking for, but I didn't have enough energy for anything else, which I should have realized. Um, we should have enough damage here, but I should rather kill that guy instead, right? Gotta make a decision. I mean, I could probably, whatever they do, I can probably defend anyways. What's up, Zyber? How you doing, buddy? Hmm. My cards are not ethereal, so let me see. I can exactly kill that, but then I take damage from here. So let's do this. I'll be a little bit loose with my potions. It's fine. Yes, love that. Ninja, thanks for the follow, buddy. Gorgeous. One fight hand is fantastic. Oh, fantastic. Increase the damage dealt by all beam cards. Yeah, that's pretty good. So, Personality Team gets stronger, and Polybeam gets stronger. Oh, that's pretty good. Because Polybeam gets stronger. All right, that's another form of scaling. I, I kind of like it. I think the deck is pretty much done, though, after that card. I think the deck is pretty much done. I gotta say pendant for this and end, end the fight. So if I just block. If I just block. I guess on the bright side though, what I could do is this so I can actually um restack pendant again.
So you get momentary strength. Is that a gem I want? Prevent the next three times you will lose HP. During the next two turns, you cannot play attacks. This is pretty decent. It's four turns of buffer when you upgrade it. It's not a bad power. Four things of buffer. It's pretty decent. We play a decent amount of attacks, though. Ideally, we want to remove four of these strikes. If you remove four of these strikes, then the deck is looking very good, actually. Uh, like, the deck is pretty much done. Is this a card that we want to add? Now, let's see about Ruby here. Momentary Strength would be good on any number of these cards. Probably the Twin Slam, because we also have Artifacts, so we can get even more Strength. Let's try this. Let's try the four turns of buffer with the upgrade. Yeah, so... What I want is like a blur effect or like some kind of way to hold... I need calipers. Calipers is broken here. It makes me exit defensive mode. I don't know if I like that. Not right now at least. I love Hexaghost. Uh, I had a great time with Hexaghost. Hexagos and me had a great time together. Mofat Hand makes this deck fantastic, by the way. Just thought I should mention. Oh, Dokor with a cheer. Uh, oh, sorry, the Twitch Prime with three months. Welcome back, man. Appreciate it. Uh, hand is this insane. And this is also really good because with the upgrade of this, persist defensive mode one more turn. But this is more damage for appended purposes. So you put this in Bobble Beam, for instance, you get two shivs, which is like pretty decent. This is also gives us dexterity since we have artifacts. We have quite a bit of artifacts, rather. If we upgrade, we get quite a bit of artifacts, which Warp Tongues does upgrade. And that gives us the ability to get dexterity. But I think more powers that persist defensive mode again, is actually, that's like a metallicized plus. That's a, actually a very good power. This, this deck defends and does damage very well. It's like six thorns is nothing to scoff at. And random powers is also energy. And eight block at the end of the turn is nuts. Wow. And it's right there, ready to go. I think we do it again. Just more armor protocol, because it keeps persisting in defensive mode, and it keeps adding block. It's good. Now, this is not bad either, because this also persists with the upgrade and gives it dexterity, but you know what? This is already upgraded, so my choice is easy. I mean, I can't do too many powers. You gotta be crazy. I mean, careful. And crazy. I have artifacts for days here. Wait, I had artifact, but I got rid of it? That's okay. Place this card into stasis. When it's in stasis, you gain energy and block. Whoa! Interesting. Another amethyst. This is a great, great gem. I put that onto like piercing hide. I mean, multi hits can't touch me. This is a good combo because I have the ability to put Fierce Bash in the first turn. Then this puts into my hand immediately. So then I have like Fierce Bash ready to go. Smack, 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 smack. And that's like a quick burst of damage if I need it. So this is a good burst card for damage. This is more consistent defense. 
and this is also more energy and consistent defense as well. But I don't think I don't. I think it's amethyst or emergency here. I'm gonna do amethyst. Although I do need to socket these gems. Wow, I love the way this deck works. Fantastic, great block. When a deck blocks well, it feels really good. It feels really good. It's the foundation of every deck. It's the ability to not die. Look at that. Look at that. The next turn is a lethal. Another amethyst. But I need to socket these. Alright, so I can socket one into twin slam. Socket one into to piercing hide. Or I have sockets for them. It's not the worst. Um, sure. Alright, but I'm getting a little crazy with these gems. A ah, very uh, anticlimactic turn because of the gems clogging my deck. All right, let's try to get construction form played. Oh, so I can't play attacks, but I have three buffers, so I can't play attack next turn. And that's uh, that's a little bit awkward, right? Oh no, was that I blocked because I have artifact, didn't I? Didn't I? I did. Now I have Pendant ready to go Fierce Bash. So, what I need right now is Fierce Bash to come to me. Oh, this is so good. So, if this hits Prismatic... Oh, this is so good. I need to play this. But I also want to play this, this, and then that. Alright, I'm doing it. Wait, I meant to play Accelerate. I also, he has... <laughs> he has a... Uh, flame Barrier. No, that, there's not that many situations that that's useful. I got free thorns. I got a bronze scale from that. That's insane, guys. Wait, these artifacts are nuts. Like if you're doing a speed run, okay, then that, that's a useful thing. But I guess it's exclusively good for speed runs. I'm no longer defensive mode. Ooh, this is scary. This is scary. We're no longer in defensive mode, but you know what we have? Lethal. Accelerate three times. Yes. Another Fierce Bash. No, Accelerate three times. Let's do it. What's the upgrade for that? I didn't even check. I just love that. I love what it does for me. Ooh, five times. Can I play more than three cards a turn? Six cards a turn. Ah, uh, that's not bad for me, right? Also, Runic Dome is probably fine. Like, I honestly don't care about intentions. The YouTube audience, and you guys might not like it. You'd be like, well, I want to see what they're doing. I want to see the cute little cards of the silent and stuff. But technically, this is really good for me. Because we just, we block a shit ton. Okay, it's useful with construction form, I guess. It's also useful for amethysts. Okay, I don't know. Noble's great, but I, I don't really know all the intentions that well of the meow. I'm doing dope. I think we're fine. Just gotta trust that, uh, whatever numbers of block I use is enough. Let's go for a lot of elites here. But remember, we have to get the key, smash it.
It doesn't hide them? <laughs> that would suck. For me. Well, it doesn't suck for me, but it, it would be awkward. If that... To see the cards, you know, I would like to see... So I know what this guy's doing. This guy's easy. This guy's not a problem. New protocol destroy. Look at this. Wait, speed boost is nuts. All right, guys, this is a uh, game over. I think. I think it's a good upgrade. Nah, let's keep the deck smaller. What's up, spools? Uh, buffer in this fight. It's quite good. Quite good. Buffer is good in this fight. Yeah, they do have mods. Oh no, well, they have modifiers. They don't have mods like this. I need to hurry about my damage. What's up, Sam? Oh, speaking of damage. Speaking of damage. Say no more. Speed boost is here. Once the deck is rolling, it's... It's, it's good. It's good. Oh, it's good. I think I was a little too insane, yeah. But GG. Wait, I waste Pendip. That's awkward. Thresh on Periap is not useful. More thorns. Yes. <laughs> All right, we have to get the key. We gotta break it, and then we gotta kill the merchant. So we gotta save pendant for the merchant. Let's go here, break the key. Then I want to do a lot of elite. So let's do like I want to do all the elites. Ah, uh, let's go here though. Whoa! They just released mod support. So monster and pendant just got mod support. That's fantastic. That's hype. I don't need the buffer, right? The buffer is useful for this moment right here. Easy. Another piercing hide. Another priming bane. Let's do piercing hide again. All right, sapphire that, break it. Upgrade. Accelerate five times is nuts, but the, the, the artifacts are very useful actually. They released new champs as well? Oh, they're not out yet, okay. All right. Shuriken, fantastic. And now we're ready to go for the act four, guys. Act four is happening, you know what time it is. Act four is here. You got Exodia yesterday? Nice. I have yet to do it.
How was it? How was the experience of Exordia? Oh, this is a deck, my friends. Sure, I can proc. Thorns! The thorns! Wait, the thorns! I want to fight the heart with this deck. Another speed boost. Whoa, speed boost is nuts for me. I want to fight two elites, so can I... How do I fight more elites? Wait, I have to kill the merchant ASAP. The boost doesn't let me though. Mm. I know I'm mean, but decent. Okay. Do I light like construction from here? No. I don't. Should have waited for the artifact for that actually. And I also should use it right at first. But I have the roll attack, so this is fine. So actually bringing roll attack back is great because look at that turn. This roll attack is going to be important here. Check it out. My lord. That's just beautiful. Matter of fact, I might just take another armor protocol. Okay, but how many of these can I get, honestly? How many of these armor protocols could I add to my deck? Nah, five is too much. See, what I'm saying is that this jump doesn't let me, you see? Is that the jump you were talking about, Alex? I wanted to do this jump, but it, it, I think it's on the same level. Uh, evidently, it is. That's what, that's what I was looking at. All right, so we can get... Ooh. I can gain max HP, or I can get rid of a card. It does all of them. So if you have multiple cards in stasis, so for instance, if it's like two and one in stasis, this is mirrored. So then one, two, three. You, you, you get the gist? I guess we get rid of these strikes at this point. I can get rid of construction form and get max HP as well. I kind of like construction form, so let's get rid of the strike. Alright, Merchant, I gotta kill you. He's very healthy. Oh, but this is a good way to stop his healthiness. We gotta get Pendip stacked up. Alright, Pendip, I need you. Wait. Wait, this is actually nuts. Accelerate's so good. I need pendant right here. Can I kill you? I should have said pen, for, uh, not pendant, but uh, what's it called? Flex pot. Oh no, wait, there's no way. I'm gonna have to catch him somehow. There's no way. Don't do this to me. I should have said flex pot, huh? I refuse to believe. 
I refuse to believe that that's, that's what happened. I'm gonna get lucky, we're gonna find him. Right? Save and quit, but how would science help me there? Call this part? Because you want to see Act 4, right? Ah, but then I, I'm sciencing, I'm sciencing in Ascension 1, what does that make me? Mm. I mean, kid, to be honest, it saves after the merchant leaves? Probably, huh? We can test it. I, I still believe I can find a merchant. Wait, no, I, this is impossible. I just realized there's no events. Wait, there's hope! Uh, don't judge me. Wait, but here's the thing, guys. I needed to upgrade speed boost so I can play this and get shuriken. I just realized. Yeah, I fought Nyan before. Pog. Okay, we killed the merchant. Wow. Deja vu. Act 4 is happening after all. This is actually really good for us. So, Orbstem gives us random attacks at every turn. We are multi hitting attacks. So, imagine the silent having shivs that do multi shiv procs. And we have Shuriken. I mean, I need to say nothing more. Drop pot. Uh, I don't need these relics. We save our money here. These are not bad. You gain two artifacts. And it's not bad. This is a great card, actually, isn't it? A random upgraded colorless boss to your hand. Let's mess around with that. All right. Evil within. Pen nipped. I guess I could do construction form because I'm waiting for my fierce bash. So let's test something. I want to test something. So I need I need like six worth of uh, stasis, and let's see if it goes in order. All right, never mind. All I see is me playing my hand. And stuff happens. Yeah, it seems like that, right? Okay, but ancient power is sick. Do we ever care about? Okay, Walker Claw is good as strength scaling dumper, but ancient power. I mean, okay, we're not going against awakened one. If we were, see, awakened one is really good for decks like this. But in a world with no awakened one, we don't care. I know, it's dirty. 
this is one of those runs where like you had to be following me along since the beginning. If you weren't following me along, then you're probably very lost about what's happening. Like I guess like all mods are like that, huh? Every mod is like that. Every game's like that, I suppose. Can confirm I am lost. <laughs> yep, lost. <laughs> okay, the thing is, modified hand makes things look a lot crazier. Because I'm just playing all these powers. Basically, I have a lot of defensive powers. And look, I have 12 metallicized. As a result. Cards go burr. Man, go pick up the Dream Modest Fire again. This is a good card. I like it. I think I gotta upgrade it though. Come to realize his power. Nice. This is like, um, it's kind of an incredible deck, I think. I feel like. It feels like all the decks I've been making recently have, have been kind of incredible. Um, once I got the hang of the class, the, the class performs very well. Not that I'm doing anything crazy, it's just that the class is great. Gain six more material forms. This is great. That's that's a lot of thorns. They also I can keep because I have artifacts. So that's just thorn scaling, but I don't need thorn scaling at this point. Let's keep the deck nice and cute. Yeah, essentially one makes it a little bit faceful. I got a hacker man and put it to the 20. I can see the damage he's doing. Since I have artifacts, I don't get the poison, but... Penip is not going to happen, is it? Let's see. I wanted it to happen, but it wasn't quite. If we use one antidote now, we we get the benefit of poison happening at the end of my turn, which is quite nice. So just use one of them for the poison happening at the end of your turn. And you can, it's also blockable, so the fact that it's blockable is quite nice. Oh, Penab is here. Uh, he has Wraith Form applied. That's not unfortunate. Not the Wraith Form, sir. Anything but the Wraith form. What's the mod doing here? Well, the mod is doing everything here. <laughs> There's a lot going on here. And a lot of it has to do with the mod. Okay, I think that confirmed that it does sequentially, right? Or am I crazy? Alright, Rayform has gone. Time to pen him his face. Speed boost, where you at? Speed boost. I need you, speed boost. There you are. Douche. 
Wait, I'm kind of out of control. Now the mods didn't make this mod though. I thought he was kind of asking like what's the mod right now and I'm like wait I don't know if that's a trick question or not because I'm quite literally fighting the silent as the guardian. If that doesn't seem like a mod then I don't know what twilight zone we're living in. But maybe I misunderstood the, conf the question. I'm going to see that. Alright no more poison. GG. Act 4. Whoa this is the highest score we've gotten yet. We've been perfecting everything. No science. Yeah, it's not going to be paying on higher attention for sure. It'd be cool if they... I, I said this. It'd be cool if they changed the deck for higher ascensions. Because, let's be honest. Ascension 20, the, the players are smarter. They make better decks. So, like, Ascension 20, you're fighting against a really well-crafted deck. <laughs> but then that's probably way too hard, right? Exit defensive mode. That's not what I want to do. You buy a bag of mini M&Ms, you're addicted again? I mean, I can't blame you, man. Mini M&Ms are, M are very good. There, you try to bomb me. Play all the cards. Wait, why do I have so much construction for him? I don't know if I want this. So it works the way I thought it does. It is sequential. Wind shrink and add a random attack. So we get 20,000 block a turn and we do lots of damage. Not bad. Not bad for our deck. What's up, Justice? We need the bomb? Sure. I agree. Let's make it happen. I'm not going to do construction for him because I'm about to smack him for 148. Precisely to the chin. Actually, you know what? Let's stack a pendant. Let's be a good gamer. You know how it is. Alright, stack of gems. Upon pickup, add five. Wait! No! <laughs> Wait, stop. I don't want that. That's horrible. Because I can only socket, like, what? Two. Two. Three, but when you're at the campfire, when you're at the campfire, you can only socket uh, like two gems, right? You can't keep socketing, or can you keep socketing? I don't know if you can just socket relentlessly. Maybe you can socket relentlessly. But the problem is, I still have two extra gems. Oh, I have two extra gems. Wait, is it. Can I choose to take them or not? It just adds random gems. So I have one, two, three sockets. I guess I can buy a socket from the merchant. All right, so we got, can I see newly added? Artifacts, amethyst, draw, okay. I like the quartz, but it's too much. Ex okay, ex Accinerate, that's a socket card. Let's buy another socket card, right? So now we need one more socket card. That's a socket card, okay. And we got Kunai. Can we ask for anything else? I didn't get to get the dexterity pot, but whatever. I should probably put them all in the uh, 
prismatic beam because it does damage based on that. Alrighty. Floating arms are early, not bad. Great kunai proc. Alright, see, I don't know. So muddled is a little bit worse. Oh, I don't get muddled here. So, yeah, the, this guy's curse is a little bit worse on this class. I think we're in construction form. I want to draw, actually. E. This construction form. And your sockets are full, but you still sock it. Wait, is that what happens? Oh, lots of damage. So, uh, this time I got rid of that card. Wait, oh, ethereal. I don't want to lose polybeam, I don't want to lose my defense, but okay. Wait, I have more bewildered? I'm gonna lose a defense. I'm gonna lose polybeam. Wait, unless I do this. Pog. I will lose one defense plus. Nice. Man, Kunai and Dexterity? I mean, the strength and, uh, strength and Dexterity is fantastic. What's up, Chaos? A very good deck. You hate Beat of Death? Beat of Death is a really fun mechanic. It's a really smart mechanic. Whoa. I should have momentary strength first. Whoops. But my lord. This might be the best deck ever. Why is every deck I make suddenly the best deck ever? Hydration. Hydration nation. Hmm. Polyam's nuts. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> Wait. I have so much strength. Wait. Wait. This is not right. Yeah, I drank. I just hydrated. Wait, I have a feeling I'm not gonna need these antidotes. It's just a feeling.
I'm gonna get rid of them. Bridge Batch, where you at? Boom! Overkill. It's illegal in most cases except Kentucky, exactly. And that's Act 4 victory. I'm supposed to cleanse everything? True. True. Oh, that was fun. Alright, now the next quest, do it all in Session 20. Wait, did I take damage? Boom! That's a nice score. So they're trolling me every time they do this, right? 